Okay, so this is a problem. And what we're having is when the yoke is perfectly straight and we're flying straight and level, this aileron is up just a little bit. And then on the other side that you'll see, the aileron is down just a little bit. So we're here at Beechcraft, Atlantic Beechcraft with Bill, and he's gonna go ahead and rig these and make these absolutely perfect. You know, we're on a quest to make our Bonanza here perfect. So we wanna have these re-rigged, which he's gonna do today. And he's gonna walk us through how we do that. And we're gonna show you that. And then we're also gonna talk about a couple other things on the plane that we wanna do. There's not a whole lot left we can actually do to this plane, but we're gonna take you through some of the things that we would like to do. So let's go ahead and dig in and uh, we'll get Bill and show you what it takes to do this. Straight. And then when yoke straight, one of these is down like about that, and then the other one is up just a hair, just like that. Like I can see right here that it's down a little bit. Okay. And then on the other side, so that one's even on the other side right now. This side is down. But if you split them and the yoke is perfectly straight, one's down a little, one's up a little. Can you show me in the yoke, put it, the yoke where sure. it is while you're flying? So now with the yokes, even the, the airplane is flying straight and level. Yep, where are the airlines? See how down that one is? Yeah. That one's closer even. closer to even. All right. So most likely what's going to happen is, is if I go and straighten this out and even it up with that, um, the airplane's going to fly uh, to the right. So we might have to compensate that by lowering this flap. Check the rigging on the ailerons. See if they are correct. Okay. Has proper travel. And then we'll, if they need to be corrected, we will correct that. Okay, and how do we check that? How do you do, what's the process? Protractor, we're gonna put on the aileron and check the travel up and down. It should be 20 up and 20 down, plus or minus two. Okay, and that'll tell you if it's- If it's in rig. Going to travel. Now with the wheels level, this should be even with the trailing edge. Okay. You see it's actually lower, lower than the flap also. Which yeah, so good. the yoke straight, and this flap is down and the other one's barely yeah. up a little bit. So even this one, even your trim tab is pushing it down too. The trim tab should be straight. So this will be straight and this will be straight if we get it rigged right. Right, and then when you go and fly, you're gonna see if it uh, rolls one way or the other. And most likely it's gonna roll to the right. Okay. So that at that point, we'd have to see how we wanna adjust that or correct that. Okay, uh, but ultimately we want all this straight. This needs to be straightened out, correct? Okay. All right. All right, great. Both uh, bell crank stops and they are hitting the stop. So I'm just going to adjust this aileron right now for neutral when the control wheel's in neutral. Okay. All right, we're going to do that by... What if they weren't hitting the stops? Well, if they weren't hitting the stops, then we would see uh, what's causing that. It's uh, the bell cranks could be out of rig of each other. And uh, you have internal stops in the in the cockpit uh, should not be hitting before it hits the stops out here in the wing. Okay. So these stops should be hitting first before it hits them there. And the way that the, uh, the cables and the bell cranks are all in rig. So now we're gonna check and adjust this aileron here to make it in neutral when the uh, control wheels are in neutral. We okay, great by loosening this jam nut here. And we're gonna loosen the jam nut underneath here. And then we're gonna turn that rod. Okay, now we're gonna raise this. All right, let's see what we got. And we gotta go a little bit more. Okay. That's pretty much perfect. Yeah, let's look at the other side now. I mean, it's pretty close. It's got to come down just a little bit. <clears throat> right there? All right. Now what we'll do is we'll tighten the jam nuts. And then check it again. All right, so that's the aileron. The trim, I'm going to have to get the uh, tools to straighten this out. Okay. But then you're going to need to fly it and see if it rolls one way or the other. I'm pretty sure it's gonna to roll to the right. Uh, in order to compensate for that, I wanna turn the flap down on this right-hand side to give more lift to it. There is another way of, of correcting for that if, if you wanted to, where you'd have to actually shift the wing. And that takes uh, several hours to do and jacking the airplane and all, but I don't think we need to get to that point right at the moment. Okay, so is that just an angle finder? Yeah. 
Oh, we're gonna push it to the so stop. Zero. You have 20.3 down. 20.3. 20.8. 20. 20. Which is perfect. Perfect? Yeah. Twenty point one and twenty one six. So you're you're well within your limits. Okay, great. So now is it a matter of flying? Now it'll be a matter of flying. Yeah, we're gonna straighten out the tab and I want you to see the flaps here. Okay. As you can see this flap is not up nice and tight and it's just hanging down a little bit from the uh, trailing edge of the fuselage. You can see we've got okay. a gap here should be level with the bottom of the plane right here, but it's actually down a little bit. Let's check the other side. So that one's up a little. That one's up a little bit. So there is a difference in the wings here. And if I look at the fittings, you'll probably see that this, this one here is adjusted up and that one's probably adjusted down. So that's giving you more lift than this one. So we don't adjust these, that's more about the wing, well, right? I guess the ultimate way of doing it would be to adjust the wing, okay? But you can uh, bypass that by adjusting the flaps. You are allowed a few degrees adjustment on each flap. Now, this is the flap that we would be adjusting because the left one is the master flap. And I'd have to redo the micro switches to uh, limit switches to adjust that. So okay. this one, we can it's just a simple adjustment. I'm going to turn it down about a turn. And uh, we'll see what we get. So if you want to turn the bag on, lower the flaps. OK, we'll do that. Everything looks good, nice and clean. Okay, so Bill just turned the bell crank one and he's putting the pin back in. So now we've lowered it. Yeah, a little lower, a little like a lower, half inch. Okay. We'll see if that's enough. We should have a little play here. And so we're going to have to adjust the bumper here. But we can get that when you come back if you Okay. Want. All right, so a quick recap before we fly here and test it out. We made sure that the yokes were straight, and when the yokes were straight, he adjusted this flap, this side, because this one seemed to be the most out. He adjusted this so it's perfectly flat to the yokes, and then the other side is pretty much straight. So now we've kind of got the two flaps straight with the yoke straight, but he's afraid that when we make that adjustment, because the plane was flying straight and level with it the way it was, that it might now actually, with these adjusted, it might be right a left wing high. So we're gonna have to go fly it and figure that out. But what he did too, to try to compensate, is he brought this flap down about a half an inch to match the other side. So the other side's down just about a half an inch. Now he's got this one adjusted down about a half an inch to try to make sure these are all perfectly rigged. And then we're gonna go fly it. We're gonna see if everything's still true. And then from there, we'll uh, figure out what has to happen. If it's still a little bit of an issue, he said we might need to move the wings a little bit. And then the last piece he's going to do here is he's going to straighten this chimp trim tab here. So straighten that. This will be straight. Everything will be in line this way, and then we'll see how things go. You wouldn't believe how strong this little piece of aluminum is. It's very difficult to bend. All right. That's a little bit straighter than it was, but... Like I said, those are very difficult to bend. So we brought this down a little bit more. Yeah. Yep. Great. So it's going to put the covers on it, the panels. We'll get up and we'll test it, see how it is. All right, well, so Bill, we did all the rigging, what we could do for now. Right. So what do you want me to do when I get up there? Well, get up there, set up for cruise, and uh, see if the airplane rolls one way or the other. Use, uh, you can use your trim tab to uh, compensate it to get it to fly straight, no autopilot. So just trim it up. Fly straight, a sure couple of directions. Yeah, make sure you're in good, smooth air. Fuel tanks are even? Yes. Okay. And then uh, what am I looking for? 
plane's going to go one way or the yeah. other, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to roll to the right, but we'll see what happens. Okay, great. We'll get up here. We'll be back. Okay, so we got our test flight in, so it's exactly what you said, Bill. So before we could fly the yoke is straight and a plane would fly. Now we have to pull the yoke over just a little bit to the left to fly straight. As soon as we straighten the yoke, the plane starts to slowly okay. go to the right. Yeah, see the yoke's a little bit to the left, so it's flying straight. As soon as we straighten the yoke just a little bit, they get it straight, plane starts, starts to, to bank. All right, let me make another adjustment on the flap and I'll adjust the bumper this time. Okay, so what are we going to adjust? The flap. The it's going to go action. down? Yeah, we're going to go down another half turn. Okay. Let's see if that gets it, if we have room. If we don't have room, then it's going to be more rigging as far as we, we would mess with the micro switches over there. Let's okay. see if I have enough room. So basically we're pulling this pin, giving another crank on the bell crank, and then putting the pin back in. Yep. All right, awesome. So while Bill's working on that, um, you're getting to see some of the journey of the little things we're trying to do to the banyan. We're trying to make it as perfect as we can. As you can see, we want the rigging to be perfect, everything to be perfect. You've already seen some of the videos on the panel. You know, there's not a whole lot more that we can do to this plane. We want to do some more stuff. I'd love for somebody to tell me if we can get tip tanks for the B36TC. I know you get them for the A36TC, you know, DeSharon has them. Um, I can't find anything for this plane. And some of you might say, well, why? The B has more fuel. You know, we have 104 gallons in this plane versus, you know, the 80-ish gallons, 84 in the other plane. So why would you need it? Well, I also want that extra useful weight that those tip tanks uh, can get us. So want to do that. And maybe the last thing we could do, we have all garment panels, and I think we want to maybe just upgrade the uh, autopilot to the G500. Now, right now, the autopilot we have in here, the King, the latest King, it's excellent integrated and it works great I would just like to have the whole panel Garmin right now we have TXI's in there so the 500 TXI large screen 500 TXI small screen 2750 side by side love this setup been one of my favorite panels out of all how many planes that we've had but uh, maybe the last thing in this is doing uh, the autopilot but other than that we've got everything else in it you know baffle kits gammy injectors um, it's almost anything you can imagine that you can get on this plane, I think we've got it, but I'd love to hear from, from you all. What else do you all, because I know that some incredible Banyan, Baron and Banyan pilots out there, but if you can let me know uh, what else we could do to this, we'd love to, to know and share it with you. So Bill's making the last adjustment on this. We just did the flight, and as I said, a recap, we went up, and uh, you'll roll, we'll roll some film in here, but as we're up, we used to fly yoke straight, and um, now we're yoke left a little bit. So with the yoke left, the plane's straight and level. As soon as we straighten the yoke now, the plane, exactly what Bill said, it's starting to bank to the right. We want to get it all perfectly aligned. I want the yoke straight, aileron straight, everything perfect. That's the goal for that. So that's the last fixes we're doing here. Now, if this doesn't do it, the next thing is, is that he'd have to actually jack it up and adjust the wings, which is something that can be done. That would be the next thing if we need to do that. So we'll uh, fix this and you know we'll get up on a flight in a couple days. We'll check it out, see how that goes. Let's let him finish this up. Let's see what he's doing under here. So as you can see, he's basically taking the pin out from the flap here. And that's the actuator with a bell crank on it. So as the pin comes out, takes that bell crank out of there, gives it a turn to lengthen it a little bit because we want the flap to go down just a bit. So it'll probably end up coming down a hair underneath. So right now it was just equal with the bottom of the plane. 
So now it'll probably be just a little bit lower than the plane with that. Was it one turn, Bill? Well, now total it's one turn. So total one turn on the bell crank. And we should see this tip of the flap now be just a little bit below the plane right here. And uh, we'll see how it's looking. Now the other thing he's doing is now he has to adjust the stop. So there's a stop up in here. So when the flap comes up in, hits the flap and stop, keeps it all nice and tight in there. So now that he made that adjustment, now the stop's got to come out just a hair. Yep. So that those are tight. All right, if you want to put the flaps up, we can. Okay, so look flaps, at it. flaps going up. Okay. So now we're about a quarter inch below, right? Yeah, we're almost equal to the other side. So the both flaps are equal down. Where should they normally be, Bill? Should they both be equal at the bottom of the plane? Normally they should be flush with the bottom of the fuselage. It's so we're, we're in tolerance to be able to make these adjustments to correct. get that flare. Yeah, they really don't have an, a, a tolerance for it. So bringing this down yeah. is going to give a little bit more resistance on the bottom to try to get it to fly a little more straight. More lift on the side. All right, everybody, so you got to see that tweak. We'll get you up on another video to show you how to do that. But Bill's been taken care of. You guys, Atlantic Beechcraft, you're, if you're in the East Coast anywhere, you got to come see Bill. He's one of the premier Beechcraft facilities. But he's been taking care of this plane, doing the annuals, doing all kinds of tweaks and stuff for us. I'm hoping we're going to be doing some more projects, but there's not much more we can do to this plane. No, so it's a good shape. We're trying to find tip tanks, but we can't for the B. We're having a hard time there. Okay. Maybe Garmin Arlo Pilot. So we're just kind of thinking out what else we can do to this plane. But, um, but anyway, till next time, everybody, we're going to put all Bill's information below in the video. So Atlantic Beechcraft, make sure you check Bill out and uh, we'll see you on the next one. And we'll show you how this worked out. Take care.